Sunderland vs Burton in 40-minute delay as fan rushed to hospital after receiving oxygen. Sunderland's home match against Burton was temporarily suspended after a fan required immediate medical attention on Tuesday evening. The game was just four minutes in when the officials were made aware of an issue in the stands regarding a fan in the West Stand. Both sets of players were asked to head down the tunnel and back to their dressing rooms while the emergency surveys rushed to the supporter. Sunderland tweeted at the time, stewards are currently clearing the area to ensure the emergency services can safely transfer the patient from the seating deck. Further information regarding the game will be communicated in due course. A notice on the scoreboard informed fans inside the stadium the temporary suspension was due to, to a medical emergency in the stands. Sky Sports' Keith Downey reported the supporter was eventually taken to hospital after receiving oxygen following roughly 40 minutes of medical treatment. Play eventually resumed after the long delay after the players returned for a brief warm-up. Sunderland later tweeted, We continue to send our best wishes to the supporter involved and thank you all for your cooperation and support. Earlier this year, four EFL games were halted due to medical incidents in the stands on the same day. Games at Fulham, Oldham, Wickham, and Bradford saw played stopped while fans were treated by medical services. Fulham supporter Paul Parrish suffered a cardiac arrest in the stands during the first half of their match against Blackpool. There was a delay of more than half an hour while the supporter was treated. But Fulham later confirmed that Paul Parrish had passed away later in hospital. A Fulham statement read, It is with immense sadness that we inform fans of the passing of supporter, Paul Parrish. Paul suffered a cardiac arrest and received treatment in the Hammersmith stand at this afternoon's match before being transferred to the hospital. He sadly passed away this evening. Our condolences and the thoughts of everyone at Fulham Football Club go out to Paul's family, friends and loved ones. The family would like to thank the fans of Fulham and